So, today I'm going to talk about voltage sensors and um, particularly voltage sensors for FreeSky. So, I know FreeSky cell voltage sensors and they are fantastic. You know, the little S port devices, they've actually got the new ones which support F bus. They kind of all do exactly as you expect. You plug them into the balance port, you plug them into the sport pin, and you get your pack voltage. But um, I kind of wasn't happy with that. And um, one of the reasons I wasn't happy with it is because of things like this heli. So this is a little OMP M2, tiny little heli, really small. But um, I wanted a voltage sensor for it. And you know, when you're dealing with something small like this, or in fact many other applications because it's not limited to just this OMP what you don't really want is kind of to be tied into um having to have a balance lead and all the extra stuff around it it's just it's a great big plunk plunk where clung tied yeah it's a clunky setup there get the right word so I kind of came up with a plan it involved a little bit of Arduino code and a little board called the DF robot beetle so I'll quickly show you here. On this particular heli, we have a little M plus receiver, which is not very big at all. And then on this side, we have a voltage sensor. And just to prove this all works, I'm going to get my trusty radio here. I'll power that up first. Welcome to Ethos. Okay. And I have a 3S battery pack. Oh. Let me plug that into here. Oh. Powering up. Watch it not work. No. Ah, I'm on the wrong model memory. Let me change my model memory. That would help. I've got two OMPs and I'm confusing the works. Not set. There you go. Warning. So we are now bound, connected to that. It's just armed. But what's quite important, take a look over there. Whoa, can we see it? There is a voltage value, which is the voltage going into my flight pack. So, great news, we know that this telemetry sensor works. Now, for safety, I will unplug that heli because I don't like that sitting around and I'll turn the radio off. Cool. Okay, so how have I done this? Well, it's quite simple in the end. And um, I've essentially plugged all the code and everything to do with this up on GitHub. So what we got here, and if we take a look on my screen over here, I'll clear a few little bits out the way because I have far too much other stuff going on. What we got here, we have a little Arduino sketch called Sport Voltage Sensor. And it's a very simple sketch that basically, all it does is basically says, send a sport signal out on pin nine and receive a voltage on analog port two. And it kind of, for a little bit of code here, basically just says, read the value, update, send it out on the hub. It's really, really simple. Um, what I have done is I've plugged a little Kelman filter onto it. And the only reason is that kind of the voltage on these ports actually varies quite a lot by millivolts. And rather than having your sensor going crazy flashing, like with all the changes, the Kelman filter just kind of smoothens that out. But um, you don't need to know how any of that works. All you need to do is know how to open this plug the Arduino in and hit, what is it? That button, the upload button. But how do you wire this? Again, very, very simple. So here we have a image and I've tried to keep it simple. So first and foremost, you could do this on any Arduino. I've chosen the Arduino sort of DF robot beetle simply because it is small, compact and suits these tiny little models. Um, the magic is actually just in a voltage divider. So what we got going on here, we have on the screen now, we got the little beetle. We're powering it, as you can see, with voltage and negative. This comes from your receiver with a sport pin. And we've also got the sport pin being fed over here. In my case, I chose digital nine just because it was close to that. And I had that out on a lead. We then have a very simple voltage divider. Now, the voltage divider is, in this case, a 22K and a 2K resistor. I've chosen these values specifically because if I plug up to a 30 volt battery source into it, it will always deliver a voltage that's kind of around the three volt mark to that analog pin. And you kind of want to make sure you do that because if you plug in a, you know, 
30 volt battery or a 6s battery you don't want that little beetle to go boom and just explode because the voltage is too high you know it's despite the fact that the manuals and things i've seen in it say that they're 5 volt tolerant it seems to kind of only be 3 volt tolerant or certainly my balls i have up but um from a wiring perspective this is an absolute doddle we're basically running a 2k resistor across there a 22k in there and you can see we just that's where we're measuring from and out it goes on the sport pin solder it up wrap it in heat shrink bob's your auntie it's done and it just works except of course you do need to flash it with the arduino studio so there we go that's how you get a little voltage sensor um i'm quite chuffed with it. i've got it on three models now and they all seem to work which is absolutely grand anyway guys enjoy cheers